when I was younger, I used to get salt and I used to pour it on slugs <laughs> and just watch them as they sizzled up because I thought it was super cool. But anyway, since snails are slugs cousins, I was technically killing the snails cousins. guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl West Indian Barbie and I'm back with another video so before we even get into this video you already know what it is you already know what's up you should have already did it you should be doing it now because you already know what I'm gonna say if I'm an unfamiliar face to you guys hey like comment subscribe all the good jazz if you want to keep up with me because I don't post that often like I tell you guys I'm trying but until I do go ahead and subscribe and also Click that notification bell, keep your comments on, not your comments, but your notifications on, so you will not miss when I post a video. So enough of the chit chat, let's get right into this video. So this video is going to be a skincare video. I'm trying to get more into this because I love skincare. Like you guys don't understand. Like I could eat, breathe, and live skincare. So with that being said, I do have some products that I've been using for, why do I keep on doing that? Well, it's because they're on the ground. That's why I did that. But still, like, I don't know. But yeah, I have some products that I've been using for a while. And I just wanted to come to you guys with these products because they have a significant ingredient that normally you wouldn't find in normal products. So I don't know if you guys are really into the skincare world and you guys really are like researching skincare like that. But I don't, there's this trend, which I'm pretty sure you guys already know. If you guys have been on social media, it's a Korean skincare trend. And Korean skincare uses more nourishing and more natural ingredients most of the time to nourish, moisturize, and take care of your skin. But one of the ingredients I've seen that has been really popular in Korean skincare is snail mucine. Yes, <laughs> snail mucine. Mucin, mucine, mucin. I say mucine, mucine but i'm guessing it's mucin because like mucus mucin i'm just trying to sound it out but i'll be saying mucin and there are a couple of skincare products branded with snail mucin in them and i have two right now that i'm gonna use for you guys just to go show you guys the good benefits because at first i was just like ew that's disgusting but then after i started using the products and after i started really like looking at my skin and feeling my skin i think they're on to something. So the two products that I'm talking about is going to be the Coors X Snail Mucine Advanced Snail 96 Mucine Power Essence. As you can tell, I am almost through with this because it's that good. I bought this, I want to say six or seven months ago, and I still have this much in here. So this product does last a long time. It it looks watery, like it looks like it'll just run out like that. But this stuff, this stuff is super thick. And it spreads so nicely, so you only need a little bit. This product is from Coors X, if I didn't say it before. The other product I have is the Peach Slices, and it's the Snail Rescue Intensive Wash Off Jelly Mask. And I'm going to show you guys this product too, because I've been using the F out of this product. As you can tell, oops, as you can tell, it's almost gone. And I did do a mini Ulta haul where I did repurchase this item in itself because... This is so good. Like it feels so good on my skin and my skin just glows afterwards, but you're gonna see that in later on in this video. But this mask is supposed to target blemishes and dullness for calm, clear, and bright skin. And both of these products have 95, 96%. Well, this has 96% mucine and this one has 95% mucine, but the majority of this product is snail mucine. I'm really just coming on here today to just show you guys how these products react and show you guys like a full live tutorial, not really a tutorial, a demo. Yeah, a full live demo on how these products just instantly perk up my skin. So at the moment, I have not washed my face. I've been saving this all for this video. So my face looks super oily and it looks, it just looks super oily because I put oil on my face at night and my face is already oily as is. So it's mostly like the oil like look at that you don't see that like look at that just super oily for no reason but what i'm about to do now is i'm gonna go ahead and wash my face and i'm gonna apply the mask on camera just so you guys can see how simple and how easy it is and i'm gonna go ahead and um i have a um a face wash headband i had another one that i used before but i got makeup all over it and it's white so it's just not a good look 
So I need to go ahead and clean that, but I'm going to open a fresh package just for you guys. So I'm off to wash my face and I will be back in a little bit. Hey you guys, so I'm back and fresh faced and I still look a little bit oily, but as you guys know, I'm oily. So it doesn't matter what I do, I'm always be oily. So I'm going to take this spatula. This is a face mask spatula. I got this from Sephora for $10. So it's a good deal. They only had pink. I wish they had purple, but they didn't. I think they had pink and black. So I just picked the per the pink one. Take that and I'm just gonna spread this mask on my face. And I just wanna show you guys how valuable this mask is because it spreads so, you only need a little bit. It spreads so nicely, but you see how it looks thick, like the thickness. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just start brushing it on my face. And what I like to do sometimes, I like to just get like a big amount and just kind of put it on there, kind of hit little spaces on my face. And then I just kind of spread it out in that area. Before you guys ask, this doesn't have a smell. It does have a smell, like it smells, it smells clean and fresh. When I first got this, I thought it was gonna smell like a snail and I don't even know what snails smell like, but it actually smells really clean and really fresh. So I was doing a little bit of research because I was trying to figure out were snails and slugs the same thing? Because when I was younger, I used to, um, this is so bad. When I was younger, I used to get salt and I used to pour it on slugs. <laughs> and just watch them as they sizzled up because I thought it was super cool. And so snails are kind of like slugs. They're very similar, but snails just have a shell. They're born with a shell and slugs are born without a shell. But anyway, since snails are slugs cousins, I was technically killing the snails cousins. So I just finished with the application and as you can tell, it's not a mask that you can really visibly see. Like you can see it all over my face, but it just looks like my, like my face is wet. But you just need a small amount of this mask. And that was a super thin layer. Like that amount that I used, that first plopped my face, I just pretty much just spread it around. So I don't use a lot of this product. That's why it's lasted so long. I think I've had the mask for like about four months, honestly. Four, four, five months, give or take. So it says wait 10 to 15 minutes for a mask to settle and for it to fully absorb. So I'm gonna give it full 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna come back to you guys with the results after I wash off the mask. So I just came back from washing that mask off. And as you guys can tell, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I certainly can. My skin looks a lot brighter, a lot more, it looks a lot more nourished. It took me a minute because that mask is super thick. One thing about that mask is it's really jelly. And even when you wash it off, when you're first starting to wash it off, you have to really go in there and wash it off because if you don't, your skin will feel all like sticky because you'll have the leftover mask on. But as you guys can tell, look at my skin. There is a distinct difference. It feels so soft. Like after you wash that face mask off, your skin feels amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on too. I have nothing on my skin by the way, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on and show you guys how it looks on. I'm talking like, I'm acting like I'm talking about clothes and stuff. But as you see how this comes out, it's, oil, it's watery, but it's not super watery. Like it's in between, like it's not too thin, but it's not too thick. Like. It's taken a while to run down my hand. I usually use two to three pats, not pats, but three squirts <laughs> on my face. And I put some on my neck too. We cannot, don't forget your neck. Please don't forget your neck. That's almost as important as your face. Don't forget your neck. And voila, my skin feels super, even more softer. Like that, the mask in itself. And then after that, I put the serum on it's it, my skin feels so amazing it's like chef's kiss like it's just these products just go together so well and they're from different brands like the Coors x and the peach slices are two different brands but the thing they have in common is that snail mucine so all in all i would totally recommend these products or even other products that have snail mucine in them so that's basically the end of my video you guys if you guys haven't tried these two products go ahead buy them try them out they are a little bit, well, the snail mask was like $17, but 
but the snail me scene is like 25 so if you don't really want to go that high with the cores x you can just get the peach slice products because the peach slices they range from 12 to 18 dollars not too pricey so thanks so much for watching my video you guys if you guys made it to the end you already know rock stars superstars all of you but yeah i hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful day and i will see you guys in my next video bye